So if we go in here, you'll see that there's just one card. Right. I can pick up the card. Oh, wow. So we use the box so that we can calculate all the different laws within a specific space. If we zoom out... I just realised now that that's in a box. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Nanosim box. Nanosim box is like a microscope for atoms, rather than... Microscopes see stuff on the microscopic level, and nanosim box lets you see stuff at the atomic level. Atoms, you can't see them, so we have to simulate them in order to be able to manipulate them. So we can't really see this in real life right now? No, this no. is why this is such a special software programme, because we can understand or begin to understand things that you don't always see. How brilliant. Nanosim box is a portal for allowing you to manipulate and understand how atoms move and interact with each other. I was lucky enough to work with Interactive Scientific and they're currently working on a software programme called the Nanosim Box and they wanted me to code new uh, molecules and make new content for the software programme. So she um, wanted to study the cosmetics that uh, um, the chemicals that are in cosmetics and the molecules that make up those chemicals. And that involved me looking at the cosmetic industry and discovering different chemicals that are used every day. I personally have never thought about, never thought worried about the molecules that are in cosmetics. It turned out to be a really interesting area. Cosmetic chemistry means a lot because there's so many different avenues of content that you can think about and there's loads of context surrounding the industry using animal products or understanding the differences between natural products and synthetic products and things that can be harsh on the skin compared to things that can benefit the skin. She wanted to add these molecules, which were ones that we didn't have. Glycerol is used in quite a few cosmetic products. Yeah. It's used in anything from toothpaste to night creams. It was really important that I made it personal and I didn't just forget about who I was and pretend to be this kind of scientific geek that was looking only at one avenue, I really made it something that I could still relate to. The, the process that we had to arrive at for Dominique to build her molecules was quite convoluted. It became very apparent that we needed a user interface for creating molecules from scratch. So we decided, okay, if we want students to be able to create their own content, then we need to come up with a better way to facilitate that experience. So now we're working heavily on making a molecular builder, something that will be really easy to use. Here we've got the light blue, which is carbon, the red or pink, which would be oxygen, and then the white, which is hydrogen. Right. Everything together makes one molecule of glycerol. We worry about these simulations and how to show particles moving around, which is something that actually she hadn't seen that much before. She'd always seen it in terms of textbooks and, you know, this reaction, this plus this goes to this. She'd never seen it happening in motion. Click, attach, click, click, click. And like, just someone say, simulate this, and it would fly off into the simulation start doing the MD, doing the molecular dynamics. It's the method by which we need to create content, but it's also a method by which people can create their own content. So if you zoom in a bit closer. Wow. Oh, so you feel as though this coming out of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> have more, a larger sense of how they would look closer. You can see all the bits and pieces. Yeah, so you're able to see how close everything is, or, or in fact, how far away in, wow. in, in retrospect. <laughs> Just because... Just because you're foreign. I think it's a, a superb tool and if I was with my students, if I could actually make them understand what glycerol is by using this, mm. I think it would make them realise what can go into the skin or not. So we're sick of, as much as everybody else, of looking at boring pictures of chemical processes and looking at molecules in 2D pictures. And we want to explore what we do from a three-dimensional perspective and like, be able to get in there and grab the thing and really study it through uh, an immersive experience. You always talk about H2O and CO2 and, and what does really that actually what mean? It, no, I, know. I think you always thought that there was two oxygens in H2O because the two referred to the oxygen, yes. whereas it actually yeah. refers to the hydrogen. The main thing that um, I learned from this experience is that we often when we're coming up with um, content for our product that we focus too much on us teaching the students and we actually really want to go the other way around and provide a space in which the student can learn through their own exploration. I really wanted to put science next to veganism and say that it's okay and put science next to cosmetics and not consider it too girly um, and it just culminated everything in one big pot and allowed me to realise that passion 
can be science and it doesn't have to be separate and I can actually do a science degree and say yes I'm still happy I'm not like I'm doing it because I want good grades so I'm surrounded by so many women that are really interested in science and amazing in their field and it's just really really exciting the project allowed me to think about why the science industry does the things that it does why women have this kind of stigma in science how we can change that it made me realize that small changes can be made and they can make such a huge difference and potentially for me that just is hugely exciting she's definitely influenced what we're going to be developing now she represents the kind of person that we want to get interested in this we're not really trying to get a guy who already writes his own code into using our product we're trying to make it accessible for everyone if i come out of my degree and have done half the amount of kind of exciting things i've managed to do while i was with interactive scientific i will be more than pleased